I'm just up in my sway. Stay in my bag, I got plenty for days. Chief in that Zod, don't come with no haze. Jewelry all on me, it wet like a tray. Addicted to pay, know all the steppers, no kidding in play. Look at my team, see all of us made. Came a long way for minimum wage. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Evan U7 here, back with another video. And today we have Ray U7 Go Hunt Tech Profile. And I'm actually excited that I'm you get to play this card. I mean, you draw so much in this deck. You go from 50 cards, you go from 50 to 60, you can do 55 cards. I always do 50 because my deck is pretty aggro. But this version of the deck is meant to just go in. Okay, this is not a defensive deck. This is a pure aggro deck. I actually made, I did my best to make it consistent as much as possible. All right, so we're going to break it down real quick. Y'all know what this deck does. So I'm just going to show you the changes and adjustments I added to the deck. So we have Sun Gohan, Warriors Universe 7. You picture you 7 card, you draw one card. If your life is at 4 or less and you have a rate using card with specified cost of 2 a play, you may draw one card, switch it to one of your energy to active mode. Add cards from your life to your hand until you have 5 life left to flip this card over. And then we have the Awakening side. Sun Gohan, the power of duty. Warriors Universe 7. Once per turn, when you use a U7 card in a combo, draw one card. Once per turn, Spirit Boost. When you use a Ray Skills back card, it costs of 2 in the combo. It gets plus escape power for the battle. Auto once per turn. When one of your raid units in, uh, with a specified cost of two in your units area is placing in drop area, choose up to one raid skills battle card with energy cost of two in your drop area and play it. Next, we have Frieza. Unlikely save you run these at four. This is the card you want to see when you're drawing to raise seven Gohan. Um, if it's your turn, when you remove a mark from this card, you can spirit boost and choose up to one of your opponent battle cards units and it gets minus 10k for the turn. Activate main puts the one skillers from the drop area um, to the bottom of the deck. And auto, when your opponent attacks, choose to one skillers, you seven card in your hand or drop area and combo with it. So if your leader swing, automatically this card auto activates. Next, we run D4, Sun Gohan's Ultimate Essence, the Zenkai series. Boy, it is a Zenkai series uh, version of the deck. Uh, when this card is played, look at top five cards, add up to one, rate U7. Um, card range cost four less or one rate unison card uh, with a specified cost of two and auto limit is really a card is rare when you use a mono skill rayless battle card and combo you draw one card so just know that you're drawing a lot of cards with the leader and the uh the battle card angel 18 star with assistance you search for a rare use seven cards cost of four less or a rare unison card specified cost of two it's, it's a cheat way out. The only difference is that you don't gain the skill list. However, if you search for a unison, then you use this to combo, draw a card, and add that to your Zenkai area. Next, we run Backbone of Universe 7, Sun Goku. Super combo. That's all. Draw a card. Now, I am excited to be running these skill lists. It's so beautiful. So, remember, the guys did a great job on the skill list card. So, we have... Four uh, Ray skill is uh, Sun Goku's right here, um, base farm, obviously. And then we have the SS Sun Goku. Like, look how beautiful that card is. Like, bro, Ben and I did a great job making this happen. Look at it, the foil, the texture. Yeah, that's the homie right there. Y'all know that's my best friend. Next, we got three Android 17s in the deck, boy. Three of these. Uh, when this card is activate, um, it's blocker skills. One of your opponent loses 15k. Also, when you combo this with a skill, is you draw a card. We all about building Zenkai in this deck. Then we have the two Angel 18. Uh, when this card, uh, you can use this card to combo. You draw one card. Um, but if this card is in the, the combo area, it gets plus 5k combo power for the battle. So you have to choose a one rate U7 card, and it gets 5k. So, so you mean you can actually. You can choose this one too. Pretty dope. Now, this is a little, nice little text we added to the deck, which I think is really, 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 really good. So we have Android 18, perfect teamwork. When this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, then you cost five or less and KO it. Also, activate battle limit one. If your leader has Warriors of Universe 7, a U7 card is in your combo area and it's your turn. Draw one card and play this card from hand. So you get to kill a card, it's cause a four, uh, five or less. So you, mean you get to hit a Zenkai, unless it have barrier, and you get to draw a card. Not only that, you get to combo with this with the U7, go ahead and draw an additional card. We're drawing a lot, and we're Zenkai summoning a lot. Next, we run three Sun Gohan Universe 7 Challengers. If your leader is a minor rate U7 card, when it's card you in the combo uh, from your hand, you may have your leader card gets plus 
1k power for the battle that extra 1k comes in clutch when you use it and you get to draw a card so they try to hit you with a crit like 25k crit you just go blop throw three of these down and then save yourself and then or you can just use this with a super combo it all varies on the position next we have super saiyan blue kaioken sun goku concentrated destruction it's a deflect where you play this card from your hand, choose all of your opponent's back cards with 20k power or less and KO them. Activate main. If you leave the card is raid and you place this card from your hand in your drop area, choose one of your opponent battle cards, ignore and bear, and it gets minus 25k power for the turn. You we are we keep these in hand for Lord Slug, because I hate that card. And we do have the Sun Goku Divine Presence. We run these at four because we are trying to we are trying to get these on swing. Do attack, deflect, can't be moving in battle during your turn. When he's um when he attacks, you have to one race skills battle card uh, from deck to your hand and shuffle your deck. This card gets plus 25 uh gain plus. <clears throat> Next we have Brawly Chrono Retribution. Look at your opponent's hand, same thing with 20k power or less. Must be a battle card, of course, since in the drop area. We run two of these. You want to save these in hand late game. You want to hit super combos of cards that negate the skills of cards. Because I'm petty and I hate cards like that. Next, we run two Sun Gohans facing the Android Terra. When this card is played, choose up to a total of seven, a total up to seven of your opponent's battle cards and or unisons, and you get minus 10k power for the turn. Additionally, if you chose five or more cards with this skill, this card gets plus 10k power and double strike for the turn. Auto, if your leader is red, when this card is added to your Z energy, Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or in unison, and it gets minus 15k for the turn. Activate main three battle. Your lead card is red, or a Master Teachings card in your life is at four or less. Play this card from your hand. So it's a nice little attack, and it's Gohan too. But we run these because we want the next stuff, and it helps with Zenkai support. I like this card a lot. It's super safe for Sun Goku, Otherworldly Infilerator. Uh, Over Realm 5 crit. When this card is played, you draw one card. We combo a lot, we Zenkai a lot, and we play cards like this to deal pressure. And we have the one of Yamcha. Yamcha is still necessary, especially for stuff that's pretty pretty dangerous in play. We do have the texting the oppositions. I don't know if you guys do this, but something about me that I, I'm really big on is I love using tokens. Um, and stuff. So I, I always use the, the Charizard one. I always think, you know, using Pokemon as tokens is pretty cool. Next, we have Imposing Presence. Imposing Presence is every time your opponent swings, y'all know what it does. It gets uh, minus 5k, but the first attack, they get neck 10. And you could do this for free if your life is at 3 or less. You choose one card from your hand and discard it. You could actually do something pretty cool with that too just discard cards to build up your your drop next we have the wolf fang fist and of course it makes something by 15k ignoring barrier and you can play when you have a unison in play and for the scr we have super saiyan blue vegeta on bridal power y'all know what it does ultimate d flag triple strike blows up the field uh also your leader uh loses 5k and you choose a life and you put it in the drop and if you want to, you have the option of playing SS Sun Goku and Frieza. Miraculous conclusion. To do attack, uh, <laughs> your opponent can activate counters or block. And then you can roll this card from the game and deal one damage to your opponent. It's, it's good. And it's 40k. Very powerful card. And for the Zenkai cards, we have one Ultra Instinct Sun Goku on Thinking Onslaught. Now, I you guys have seen this card be used in other decks uh, that I have. But you get to really use his uh, true activate battle limit one skill in this deck. He's deflect, bear, do attack, and this card's in rest mode, and you discard one card from your hand. When you use one of your race skills, battle cards in the combo, choose up to one of your cards, it gets plus 5k power for a turn. It's a sensor beam, and at the end of your turn, switch this card to active mode. Activate battle limit one if your leader is a Warriors Universe 7 card. You switch this card to rest mode, and you add one race skills battle card from your drop to your hand. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards when you're in his hands, and he gets minus 15k power for the turn. You can run one or two, but I, I mean, the one up. Next, we have Rush Attack SS Blue Vegeta Deflect. When this card attacks, choose up to one mono raid card with 5k power from your drop in your combo with his skills negated for the turn. Additionally, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or units, and he gets minus 15k for the turn. 
um, a minus 15 power for a turn. Activate main once per turn. If you have four more Z energy, switch this card to active mode and it gets plus 10k power. Double strike in barrier for the turn. I'm actually happy this card did not get hit. And this is also the one of the main cards you want to focus on when you play this deck. Next, we run Android 17, Impeccable Defense, Barrier Blocker. When this card is played, it can't be KO in battle for the turn. Um, because we do run a Ray U7 leader, you um, you could use this Activate Main to where you play up to one Ray U7 card. It's cost three or less from this card um, at the end of your opponent's next turn. But we don't worry about that because we need to protect him because he is a blocker. We need to protect our leader. And then Activate Battle Limit 1 if, your opponent, if it's your opponent's turn. Switch this card to Active Mode. And then the final Zen card, card we use is Freezer, Resurrect the Ambition. He's a deflect double strike when his card's played. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it costs a five or less to KO it. Um, of course, this one's per turn is place one of your Z energy in the zone is drop. And one of your other green battle cards and it costs two or more attacks. Your opponent discards one card from their hand. All right, so that's it for the Raid U7 Gohan deck profile. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we're on the road to 1K. And remember, the Lord loves you. Bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>